Hello everybody and welcome back to Marwa Manor Farm. So today we're going to be finishing off the forest but I do have a few other jobs to do today as well. Uh, we're going to start off with just taking the fertilizer and the lime off the trailer and then reloading it with the saplings. Uh, we actually do have now a different mod which is the 60 sapling pallets by Stevie. Uh, obviously three times larger than the standard one. I don't know what the price is, you would have thought it would be three times more, so £3,000, but we will soon find out. Hopefully it is going to be less, because as I mentioned before, they are overpriced, they're very expensive. Um, so really, we should be around £1,000 for 60 Anyway, just to begin with, I'm going to drop this off in here. I then need to go back and move the trailer uh, with, the, with the fence. It's going to look a bit weird, but it's just to move it out of the way. The John Deere is currently cultivating the field for the next crop. Um, so yeah, it is completely in the way for it. Okay, there we go. Good. Uh, so yeah, how is everybody doing today? Hopefully you're doing very well. Uh, I think the the change in my approach of doing the series has gone down fairly well. So thank you to everybody who did participate in the vote. It's very helpful. It is tough to know exactly how to, to do a series without input from the viewers. Because, uh, well, I do get some negative comments and just saying, oh, well, this is bad. That doesn't really help me, you see, because I don't know what was bad. Um, so doing the vote was the best thing. It really did allow me to see exactly what wasn't right or what could have been better. Um, that's good. Yeah, so the John Deere is just up there. I just realised, actually, that front bag was not attached. So I've got the money to. It is still in the field. I'm going to very quickly put all this into the fertiliser store which I think I'm going to make the barn where the bales are. I think that will be the best place for it. So that's where we're going to go. It will be done very quickly, off screen, just unloading the entire trailer. Uh, and then it will be back over to the store, over there, to load it up with all the saplings. And I think it probably will be almost a full trailer, even though they're now larger. If, if they weren't larger, it would be about three full trailers to finish it. I may have to do some rearranging, but I would say that's going to be the best place, so I'll put it here. And we'll go back over to the field to get the money to. I'm going to leave the pallet forks over at the edge of the field. Um, there's no chance of the John Deere hitting them, because the John Deere is obviously progressing this way, whereas I'm going to put them the other side. But that is going to be such a good forest, that is the plan anyway. It should be a really dense forest. Uh, I am underneath pylons, I'm aware of that, but as you can see the tree line originally is nowhere near the wires so it should be fine um, but well it, it doesn't really matter too much in a game if uh, if they do go a bit too high but I really don't think they're going to I should probably cultivate the headland first because it's really confusing the worker anyway they can go there I'm going to go and move the bags okay here we are right so as I said it's going to be done larger off screen. I will just put the first bag in just to show you exactly where they're going to go. And then you can see the after shot of what has been done. I would say just over here in the corner is going to be the best place. I suppose actually I could keep it separate by putting them in there. Yeah, if I put the lime on one side, put the fertilizer in another, on another side, um, I could then put something else down the middle, like seed. And there we go. So we've got the lime on the right hand side and the fertilizer on the left hand side. And also we have a completely empty trailer, which is good. I think I'm probably going to keep the bag attachment with these actually. It's going to be a more sensible idea. So, over to the store to load up the next load of saplings. I'm just wondering, I don't think this is going to fit on there, but you might be able to load it up. If we had some ramps, I'm sure that trailer would be strong enough to take this without any issue at all. Although I could be sneaky. I know it's not a transport trailer for vehicles, but... Yeah, I reckon we can do this. Okay, no, it didn't work. I'm going to go over here to get the pallet forks anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's the first vehicle here. And now the second one. It does seem weird turns with the fence, but I have nothing else. The Deuce Fire's obviously got the uh, sapling planter. And the John Deere is busy. So, yeah, it's all we've got. I would love a vintage tractor. Because they're not going to be very expensive. Plus, if it's a fairly high horsepower vintage tractor, 
it should be able to tow a trailer, absolutely no problem at all. Right, okay, so we'll take this over there too. Right, time to do some buying and loading up. Before I do that, I should probably show you this mod. 60 tree saplings for £2,000. Uh, so it's, it's a 33% saving, so it's not too bad. Anyway, uh, yes, I'm going to have to sell the machine I said I was going to. And that now allows me to buy quite a few. Here we are. So what I'm going to do is just take these first three straps off. That should be enough to release the front two pallets, hopefully. Um, and then I can uh, load it up. Uh, you, actually, this tractor is loud. <laughs> this tractor is very loud. Um, yes, in the time when I'm using it, I'll put the volume down. Hopefully that's a bit better. Uh, right, okay, so. Yeah, 60 per pallet now, which is good. I'm going to continue with the same approach as yesterday. So it gets put on a worker and it should do a good job. But the worker does like to make a mess, which is not a good job. But I think having these four pallets with 60 in each should get us to the far side, hopefully. Um, I did say that a full trailer might be required, but looking at the size of the trailer again compared to a pallet, yeah, I'm going to have to go back on what I said there. I thought the trailer was not quite as long. Uh, it's actually a very good trailer. I do recommend it. Oh, I've got birds on my grass seed. Get off my seed, birds. I actually realised as well I could have used the terrain editing landscaping tool to put the grass down. I didn't really have to plant it and it would also have kept the, uh, the growth away as well because it doesn't grow, but I think they're going to make it grow. The stuff that you use in the landscaping tool. Yeah, on FS15 and 17, I also did agroforestry. This is where you have trees, but you have a big enough gap between the trees to grow a crop and get a combine through. Uh, there is actually a map, Mercury Farms, which is out for 19 as well, which has agroforestry. And I think it is a very good idea. I'm going to be doing something like that again at some point. Um, but yeah, if you want to just have it already set up for you, Mercury Farms is a good map for it. That is pretty much halfway, exactly, so yeah, we should have plenty, should be good. The John Deere is continuing over there, doing an okay job, but the good thing is what it's doing is cultivating, but that cultivator acts as a plough, so we're getting the periodic ploughing bonus as well. It's almost empty, time for a refill. It may just about get to the bottom of here, possibly. If I can get close enough so I can just press R to refill, that would be very good. Right, that is obviously the stopping point. Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm going to have to shuffle closer. Good. Right, so I'll finish off this piece. And then, I can to spin around and set it back off again. Good. Uh, yes. Okay, so yeah, we have two sapling pallets left and I might have bought too much, but it doesn't matter. I can fill in the gaps and stuff. This is the current situation. Looking good. Um, yeah, so when these start to grow, I think I'm going to probably leave them to be almost full height before I do cut them down. Uh, just because you get so much more wood out of it. So a lot more money for each sapling, which we have paid for. Uh, but really, a lot more money for each tree when it go grows into a big tree. Ooh, big bird. Uh, yeah, so um, we are almost finished here. I can move on to a different job in a minute or two. There is not much point in setting it off on the worker again. Uh, we've only got seven saplings left in here. So if it's going to put another one in, it did right in the last second. Right, now I'm driving. Things can go horribly wrong now. Right, let's put that onto work mode, engage PTO. Good. That should be a 
fairly straight line. And five saplings, which are remaining, might get us to the trailer. If not, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be very good timing. Very good. Right, one left. There we go. Um, yeah, refill. Can get close enough. Good. And then I can uh, once again get it lined up. I think what I need to do is take the headlands off the field, the canola field, because I need to do that in stream. Uh, the next stream is going to be sorting out the canola field. I've also been reading the messages and stuff, and quite a few of you want to have potatoes and stuff, root crops put in. The only thing I've got against root crops is the machinery is very expensive, um, which obviously makes it not really worthwhile if, if you don't own the machine. But, I don't know, we could do. Anyway, I think we do have enough saplings here in this pallet to finish off. Should do. Should be enough. That's right into the corner. That's enough trees for this area. And I think I'm just going to put the rest in here, right on the edge. It doesn't really matter that it's the edge, because really, this is going to be the centre of the forest. It continues into there, into the existing area. The other thing I do need to do is get some poplar put in, uh, because the poplar is going to be used for the next DLC. Uh, on the 26th of March, I want to be able to use the bio baler straight away, basically create a bale, of biomass wood chips. So I think this field here might actually be the field where I do many different things. So we could actually divide it into several sections, as this is the field I wanted to get rid of anyway. So um, yeah, turning it into several fields could actually be quite a beneficial thing to do. Anyway, that should be enough for this area. There is just about space on the edge. So yeah, I've got 20 left in here anyway. Well, there we go. Seven left. Just obviously putting the last few in anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's a bit dense here. They should still grow. I think, yeah, that is a good thing to do. The rest of this field can be poplar. And I'm going to obviously have it cultivated up to here. So with the remaining pallets, I'm just going to extend um, the woods that we're currently producing, the forest. So, yeah, the, the final pallet is not wasted. It's still going to be planted wait for the cultivator to do its thing, uh, which it's not going to do very well if I go and park in the way. I've got to say, that, that worker is doing a really bad job. <laughs> it's worse than me. It actually is worse than me. Right. Okay, let's turn things off there. Because it's off, I can now put the volume back up. Uh, good. And that's allowed that to resume. That can go into there. Perfect. And now my trailer can go back over to the yard. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be changing things around now. Everything is going to be going in the favour of the field over here. Um, so yeah, it's going to be... It's a good day for it, this field. It's going to be very happy. It's going to be harvested. Um, it's going to produce quite a bit of money too, because it is canola, and if I sell it at a good price, then we're going to make probably over £100,000. That is, of course, if it is a good price. Now my combine should be over here but as usual I'm just going to take the headlands off because then the worker in the stream can take over now I've got the fun of reversing this out of the door yeah it, it's going to be yeah it's going to be fun ah oh, almost Right, that should do nicely. Right then, it begins. I still don't have my class Lexian, but eventually we're going to get it. And I suppose I might as well just put the header here. The header trailer can stay on the edge of the track. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to have a quick chat about ModHub. Um, because, well, I think Giants are extremely busy actually. And they have now got a new worker who works for the community. Uh, basically, I think it's a similar job to what Lars does. That's uh, Lizitan. Um, 
So hopefully that's going to take a bit of strain off, you know, the few workers who, the few employees who do the uh, public relations stuff. Uh, so with a bit of luck, Mod Hub is going to speed up a bit with the releasing of mods. I don't know. Um, so <laughs> it is slow, but they've got to test stuff properly. They can't just go and, you know, pass something which could be terrible. Uh, because I, I, I believe that the modders do make money out of the mods quite rightly, as they should do for the amount of work that goes into them. Um, but obviously, yeah, if, if, a, if a bad one slips through, you know, something which doesn't even work, then that wouldn't be very professional. Uh, so I can understand the speed that things are being released at, but it kind of says that they need to get some more employees to speed up the process. Uh, because after all, I think it might be disappointing a few players. I'm not going to say it is doing, because I don't know for sure, but I think it is doing. Um, since I have read all my comments and stuff from my videos, and been on some forums and stuff, and the general feeling I'm getting is that they are just being far too slow at fixing stuff and releasing mods. I am also a little bit frustrated by the speed of releasing of mods, because, well, I know that... Um, I don't actually know many of the mods that are in that queue... Uh, I believe there are hundreds, but one of them is uh, the very nice and upcoming Peterville, which I can't wait to start, and I can't really start it until it's released, so yeah, I mean, that might just be me being selfish, saying I want this mod, but uh, yeah, I think it's been in, it's been with them for a while, so I think they're getting there, I think they are speeding up and everything, but it is still a bit, a bit slow. Anyway, yeah, the DLC. I should probably mention that too, because I haven't really spoken about the DLC too much. It is coming out on the 26th of March. It is $10, I think, $9.99. Best place to look for the up-to-date price is on the official website. But I like it. I think it looks good so far. Obviously, I haven't used it, so I can't really say for sure. But uh, the extract there, the thing which wraps all the bells together, that is going to be the best thing to me. Might not be to you, but to me that is going to be very interesting. As for the auto stackers, very nice. I wouldn't turn them down because I think some of them actually have a much higher capacity than, for example, the Ursus, which we've got. The Ursus round bale stacker, uh, I think it's got a capacity currently of eight bales. And, well, the, this one in the uh, the DLC can actually do a, a twin layer, double layer. So that's going to be very good for taking more round bales from the field to wherever. And I think the price is quite fair as well. It's not like unreasonable, like £15 or anything. That would be quite unreasonable. So it's good. Um, I will obviously tell you what I think of it when it's released, but so far it's looking promising. It's not class, it's not Kubota or anything like that. I know many have requested it, but you know, there's still time. There is still time. I don't know if they're going to be put in the game. Uh, they might be in the next game, in FS21, but I mean, you can't have everything at once because otherwise there's going to be nothing for the next game, I suppose. I don't know if that's how they look at it, but you want to have, you know, an exciting release for a new game. Right, this is 36% full. So when we get back up to the top, it can just wait there for unloading. I'm really hoping to stream between this episode and the next one, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to. Uh, but that is something I'd like to do. But it is a big field, absolutely huge. It's vast. And it did cost quite a bit to actually plant this field. Yeah. If the price is good, I'm going to be saying very confidently that we're going to make at least £100,000 out of it. Could be quite a bit more. It's also dusk. It's uh, 10 past 7. So quite a good finishing time, actually. But those trees, I'm really hoping, are going to grow fairly quickly. <laughs> Uh, it is something trying to beg a tree to grow fast because they do grow very slowly but in this game if the growth rate is on normal or fast it shouldn't take too long I'm hoping because I really want to get some chipping done and some logging almost back to the top and almost full so it looks like it is a full tank per lap of the field obviously every lap that we do we progress further into the centre meaning the less it's going to fill up. We're almost there. So as soon as it's full, we're going to end the episode, and then hopefully next time I can just get it all unloaded and continue. I might even lease a class Lexian to do it with the Combine if it is in a stream, 
because the amount of money we're going to make is obviously going to outweigh the leasing fee by quite a bit so getting that crop in fast is going to be quite helpful anyway that is 99% full almost there anyway thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed the video and until next time see you again very soon bye for now <laughs>